Hello again everybody this is Lonnie. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of the most underused um, features of your recreate machine. Um, I've been doing this for a while and never really knew I could do it and I stumbled across it the other day so I figured I'd share with you guys and it's pretty cool. Um, Basically, it makes your we create a engraving copy machine, um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. For this example, we have this beautiful piece of art that somebody drew, and you just love it, and you want to make something of it. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to take it, you're going to insert it into the machine. and then you're going to close the lid. Okay, I'm going to swap over to the software and we'll continue from there. Okay, so here we are inside the software. Uh, you refresh the screen and that beautiful piece of artwork is going to come up. Okay, um, inside Size the screen here. The record my over here on the left hand side. You see all your drawing things. And if you ever wondered what this thing says, extract image did. This is it. You click on it, and uh, it takes basically a, a snapshot of the image, and it's highlighted around the air. Um, you um, basically take whatever the cursor, and you highlight the image. And once it's highlighted like, like that, you hit click, you check the check mark. Okay. Now you can go back over to your recreate, take that piece out. Grab yourself a piece of wood, stick it in there. Come back over to your the software, hit refresh. Now what it's done, it's kept that, but you clicked. And there's the piece of board that I stuck in. Now if you want up here at the top on grayscale and sharpness, you can change make changes to the background, backdrop, just mess around and play with it. For now, we're just going to leave it like that. You can come over here to edit image. Click on edit image. Do stuff with it. Uh, it's got an eraser. I mean, you can mess around with it, but just to quickly do something, we're just going to resize it. Stick it on the board. Auto focus. I mean, you can play around with the numbers and do your stuff, but it's just a quick quick print to, to show you what it's capable of. You can even take that image, save it, edit it in the Photoshop or whatever and, and bring it back in. Um, basically you're using it as a scanner. We're going to send it over. And we're going to let it print. Okay, the print's done. Um, before I exit, I'm going to add a few things here. A rectangle here. Let me add it off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, the print's done. After I said, like I said, I added a couple things to it. But here's what we started with, and here's what we ended up with. 
not a bad trick. You could clean up the background a little bit, do whatever, but it uh, opens up a few more possibilities. All right, in addition to my other videos, like, share, and follow. Hope that helps too.